Take me on a trip, I want to go someplace. Take me to New York, I love to see LA. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a highly, highly requested video. Um, we are doing my hat collection. Yay! So I've been reading my comments and you guys have nonstop been asking me, what type of hat is that? Where do you get your hats from? How do you take care of your hats? What do you, oh, I broke, I broke my nail. It's really bad too. So yeah, broke it in the middle. So I got the rest of my nails done, but this one, and I'm not flicking you off, I promise. Um, so yeah, that happened to me. We are finally doing a video about the hats. I get my hats from all different types of places. If the hat looks good, if the hat is sturdy, I will buy it. Um, I get my hats from Forever 21, Urban Outfitters, um, Nordstrom's, uh, Lack of Colors has been one of my favorite places to purchase uh, for door hats. Also, there's this new company that I want to try. It's called uh, Gigi or Gidget or something like that. Um, I'll link it below, but I am probably going to buy some hats from them as well. So um, make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Follow me on Instagram for fashion inspo. I post every other day. And let's just go ahead and get on into this video. So as you can see, my hats are hanging up there. They're hanging up like right here on the side. What I'm using to hang my hats on uh, are actually coat hangers um or I think they might be the hangers that you use to like put by the door so you can hang your keys or something like that I can't remember but I got it from Target uh I linked them under my clothes tour if you haven't watched my clothes video you should go watch that it's really good video very helpful information um also I linked it under a vlog um but I will link it under this video put this hat on anyway uh but yeah so that is what my hats are hanging on super cute it uh goes with the decor of my room you know marble um that hardware of gold so it's really pretty very chic um and i think three yeah three come in a pack it's 14.99 uh for a pack of them. um i think i started wearing hats when i was like maybe 20 21 22 21 or 22, some, somewhere in, in between those ages um, is when I started wearing fedora hats. Originally, it was just wearing them to like cover up bad hair days. Like for instance, right now, these braids were supposed to bend out of my head like a week and a half ago. Like I'm holding on to them because I got one more video <laughs> where I need these braids. Um, and then after that, they are coming out of my head. I miss my fro. I miss my natural hair. I miss getting to the scalp without having any issues. So yeah. Um, but yeah, like you see like my hair... See all the new growth in my braids. And now you don't see it. Look at that. And then, uh, I mean, just like my outfit, look at my outfit and look at the hat. Like this is a regular sweatsuit, sweatshirt, sweatpants, some joggers, whatever you want to call them. And now when I add the hat, it just, <laughs> it just turns this outfit into a whole boho chic look. Like, the hats, the fedoras are definitely like statement pieces. Like they, they, they elevate your outfit. They really, really do. I took a trip to LA and I was actually, I think I went to LA at least, I've been to LA before I met my husband. I went to LA at least three to four times. And when I went to LA, it was like a whole new world out there. Like they were wearing fedora hats. They were dressing like hippies. I just, it, they own their personal style. And I love that about LA. Like it's just, a whole different world of fashion out there um and it's just fun fashion like people just really don't care it's like this is my fit this is what i'm wearing you like it or you don't take it or leave it um but yeah i just really thought i, also, I always thought that fedoras was like a la thing like a, a a free carefree lifestyle like hippie boho chic because when i think of la i think of free i think of happy i think of boho chic i think of um sexy grunge those are the type of styles i think of when i think about la um so yeah i saw a lot of people wearing fedoras in la and that's when i started to grow a fetish for hats my collection started off small and it is actually way bigger now um, but i'm still building like it can honestly become an addiction like it really can hats are like great statement pieces they elevate your outfit um, especially if you're having a bad hair day, you can definitely just throw on a hat. Clearly, I just showed you that. 
<laughs> and you got to own it when you throw these hats on because you're going to get looks. You're going to get uh, stares because this hat is this is not a small hat. Like, look at the brim. Look how long my brim is. I'm drawing attention as I'm walking through the malls, the stores, whatever. So when you throw a hat on, you got to own it. We're going to start off with the hats that I've gotten from like Urban Outfitters or Forever 21. And then my last, the last hats that I will do is my full collection from Lack of Colors. So actually, these four hats right here are all from Forever 21. So like this one, I recent, I just recently got this one. Um, you should have seen this in my... Uh, my how to style the the color of the season video i paired this with a with some brown sweatpants and the little shirt that had like the little purple going into it but look at the brim like it's really sturdy that's what this this is what makes me like i love hats that have a sturdy brim i hate a floppy hat like i really hate that um and this hat was only i think it was 17 dollars. like forever 21 believe it or not gives really good hats so I got this out of the women's section, but I have bought hats out of the men's section at Forever 21. Let's see. All right, so this hat is from Forever 21. Look at that. It's really pretty. Again, very sturdy brim, not floppy. Really like how it's like super, look at that. Super sturdy right here. So this one was about... I want to say 1999 the fact that it has this chocolate brown right here so this hat i can wear in the summertime and i can also wear it in the fall now this hat i know the colors may seem a little bit almost like they're the same but they're not this one is uh this one is actually lighter and then it's different around here too like you see how it has the gray snake skin this i would definitely wear in the fall winter like this is a fall winter hat and this one is also for Forever 21, $17. I haven't even taken the tag off of it. Great, great. Look at, look at, oh, look at the inside. Oh my goodness. Super sturdy. Look at this. It's hard at the top. Look at the brim. This is how you know you got a good hat. When the brim is sturdy and the top is very firm. Very good hat, Forever 21. Very good hat. This is another hat that I got from Forever 21. I actually got this one out of the men's section. Now this one I've had for some years and it's kind of been in the, through the ringer. Um, I've actually packed this in my suitcase and I've kind of like smashed the top of this a little bit, but it's still pretty sturdy at the top. Uh, the brim still, look at that, stiff, love that. Um, so this is like a, like a super dark mm. green. Is it a khaki green? Maybe it's a khaki green. But this is a really good hat too. And I got this out of the men's section. Hat that I got from Zara. So I got this out of the men's section. As you can see, it says Zara Man. Oh, let me stop showing my ugly nail. So it says Zara Man. And look, look at my makeup stains. <laughs> look at my makeup. Ew. Okay. But um really nice hat see how these are not the same color see i have to i have to have a, a different color hat for you know different shades i gotta have different shades i can't just have one hat go with everything i gotta have different shades it's just just it's just what it is Here. okay now this brim look at this it's a little floppy it's a little floppy but you know we're gonna work with it we're still working with it it's still still holding on these are the hats that I kind of randomly got from like Nordstrom or Urban Outfitters. Um, like this one I got from Nordstrom. And look at this. Look at this. I hate. Look at this. I hate this. Ugh. So this is something I will wear on vacation. I'm still debating on if I should keep this or give it away or something. Like I love the hat. It's really good. I just wish it was sturdy. And I wish the brim was longer. Like I don't really like short brims like this this is not my vibe i don't like this this is this is my vibe right here okay this is my vibe also got this one from nordstrom's not so good either look at this this is like it looks really cheap i don't even remember how much i paid for this but it did i, I i'll probably post up a picture on the side just to see so you can see how i wore this hat um again i just really do not like 
the fl the the floppiness of this but this is this is when i first started wearing hats i really didn't know too much about the whole brim thing and how i like the sturdiness or whatever so this is like my beginning stages of wearing hats. i got from urban outfitters it's pretty sturdy at the top um small brim again this is like my beginning stages of wearing hats so it's got me through some some cute outfits this hat here yeah but floppy brim don't like that floppy brim the hat that i got from urban outfitters dark brown loving the cognac right here super cute um the brim is not super floppy but it's not super sturdy as either so it's like a in between it's like it'll do type of hat like it's like it's all right you know what i mean like it's not the best but it, it'll do now we're gonna get into my lack of colors collection and these hats are a little bit pricey <laughs> Um, so just make sure that when you purchase a hat from them, that it's the hat that you want because it, these hats do come from Australia and I would assume that returning them or exchanging them or anything, sending it back to Australia would take a long time and it's probably going to be a hassle. So just make sure when you purchase a hat from Lack of Colors, that it is the hat that you want. Okay, so this was my very first purchase from Lack of Colors. This is the Ivory Rancher. Um, it's about 57 centimeters. Um, I got a size medium very beautiful i love the cream right here like you see this right here well is it cream it's like a, almost like a champagne so it's like cream and champagne it's really good like you can wear whites with this you can wear browns you can wear creams this is a it's like super light let me turn this light down super bright anyway this hat is about 129 dollars um now i have a super small head but when i get braids or i get or i'm wearing a wig or i do a weave or whatever i still need that extra room to wear my hat so i always get a size medium the inside as you can see it's oh you probably can't see it's a little bit of makeup in there but um i love i love this hat this was my first one so you see it actually starting to bend a little bit just a little bit right here but i wore this hat with a lot of outfits i'm gonna post up you're gonna see some pictures here or you might see some pictures on yeah i'm gonna post some couple pictures right here that you can see like how many times i've worn this hat or I just love this hat it's everything and they do have a wide top like this hat I'll show you what it looks like huh so you see how big this is compared to my other hats over here super big so if this is not the type of hats that you're into might not want to get a lack of colors hat this is the sierra um it comes in two different colors look at that fabric right around the, the hat Ooh, I love that. This is so boho chic to me. Mm, really good. Love that. Um, it just adds a sense of style to your hat. So this one was also $129. Um, as you can see, my makeup is here. <laughs> so I've been wearing this hat for a minute now. I've had this hat for some years. Um, but yeah, very sturdy brim. Super hard top up here. I'm going to show you what it looks like is what the sierra looks like and again i'll post some pictures on the side of me wearing the hat oh that oh it looks good it's cute but yeah this is this is next hat i actually purchased it like in march like during the pandemic like right before the pandemic started i purchased this one look at this beauty right here oh she is just everything she is gorgeous this is a vacation hat all day okay if you just pack nothing else but some sun some white sundresses and this hat wear this hat with everything this hat is ah this hat is mexico this hat is jamaica this hat is is uh i don't know ivory coast this is the ultra wide palmer and it was 139 dollars um i just ah uh, I just really love this hat. It just every time I look at this hat, it makes me want to go on a vacation. I've already worn it a couple times. See my makeup, um, but I'll just show you what it looks like on. So this is what the hat looks like on. It's very, very wide brim. Okay, like you could knock some people out with this hat. Um, oh, it's just so cute. Now I want to go somewhere. You have to be very confident to wear a hat like this. Okay, y'all know what you're doing. You're on a trip, I want to go someplace take me to new york i love to see la okay 
Okay, I'll post a picture here when I wore this hat. I wore this hat to the mall. That's how thirsty I was to wear this hat. I wore this hat to the mall, and I think I went on a lunch date with my friend. So that's when I wore this hat. But yeah, she's everything. And I got a size medium. This is the Montana Ivory Bone. Trying to. Oh, the lighting is like not lit. Okay, there we go. So this is the Montana Ivory Bone. She's so beautiful. She's absolutely gorgeous, okay? She was only $119, and I'm really, really surprised at that price because my uh, Ivory Rancher was $139. No, $129. So I'm trying to figure out how this hat, which seems to be, it looks more expensive than the, other, than the Ivory Rancher. But anyway, I'll take $119. Um, but yeah, this is my baby right here. You want to give a, a full on off-white outfit, winter white, cream. This is the hat, okay? Now, I've been waiting for this hat for a long time. Every time I went to go purchase it, it's sold out. So I finally got my hands on it. Not only that, it was on sale. So I think I paid maybe $89 instead of $119. But I've worn her maybe two times so far. I've worn her two times. Yep, I've worn her with the the brown outfit from Misguided. And I also wore her when I did my uh, my latest Zara haul. Y'all just, y'all went crazy over that one. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I wore that. I wore this hat with that outfit. I'm definitely going to actually wear that outfit, that outfit outside of the house. And you might want to follow me on Instagram because you, you don't want to miss that look, okay? That's going to be a killer. But anyway, she is a beauty. Look at my, ooh, look at my finger. Look, I got a blood clot right there. Oh, it looks so ugly. I cannot wait till it heals. It hurts a little. It still hurts a little bit. Hmm. Look, 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 at the, look, it, look at this outfit. It even goes with this. Look at this. All right, guys. So that is it on the hat collection. Um, if you guys have any questions, make sure you leave them below. Make sure you follow me on Instagram for Fashion Inspo. I post every other day. If you are not subscribed to this channel, sweetie, what are you doing? Okay. Subscribe for good vibes. We have fun on this channel um what's the next videos that are coming up um we got christmas decor my first vlogmas is coming soon um boot collection is coming soon and i'm also doing a coat collection because i have a lot of coats so stay tuned for that make sure you turn your notification bells on so you don't miss any of my videos um again i do let you know when i'm going to post a video on instagram so i definitely suggest you follow me on instagram um, all right, guys, I hope this video was uh, informative for you, and I hope this video was helpful for you. Um, again, like I said, if you have any questions, make sure you leave them below. All right, I will see y'all on the next video. Bye.